your car and just thought it was absolutely incredible so you. can you tell me a little about it a little bit about it what is this thing yeah this is a, a rover mini it's 1995 it's a jdm car it was imported yeah. in um, november of 2020 cool. and um, i'm the first owner here in the states it's a 1275 cc the big one <laughs> the big one so you said it was imported a couple of years ago how are you you know how long have you had it are you the first owner did you go through the importation process like how how old is this car for you yeah, so I got it in April of 2021, so I've had okay. it a little over two years. Um, I got it from a guy who got it from the importers. Mm -hmm. He never actually registered in the States because it was during COVID and it was kind of a okay. madhouse with the DMV. Oh, yeah. So um, I got it to the bill of sale and I was the first uh, registered owner here in the States. Awesome. So I didn't have to do with any of the importing, just the registration process. Yeah, here the importing is the, uh, the most fun part of that process. <laughs> yeah. So why a mini like what what inspired this like why did you get this specific car well i've been obsessed with this car since i was a child mm -hmm. i mean i went to car shows all the time with my dad and i would always just tractor beam mini i mean i'm a short statured person <laughs> and it just seemed like the perfect car not intimidating and just fun um i was when i did look into getting one for myself i wanted one specifically that was right hand drive is where um less was sold it and i was hook line and sinker so it looks pretty much stock have you had anything done to it have you done any work to the car like what kind of modifications you got going on um i haven't done a lot of cosmetic work to it mm -hmm. um just little things here and there i changed the mirror about back to the original mirror okay. the one i got was like a plastic one that was stuck to the windshield i was like oh, i think i could do better yeah. make it look more original and then i took off the tint in the back it had some really old tint that was bubbly and purple awesome so that's just elbow grease and 409 and i got that puppy off Re actually re removing some uh, some high quality bargain bin <laughs> yeah. tent but really it just needed a little bit of maintenance i needed to replace the um this cl the clutch slave and then my husband did i i'm saying i did but really i supervised hey, i brought beverages su I supervising DJ. is it is an actual <laughs> job <laughs> but um replaced the brake lines i got braided brake lines that new clutch slave and was something else i can't think of but mainly just a little maintenance Awesome. Cosmetic wise, is pretty much how I got it. So, what do you have as far as you know future plans for this? Do you plan to kind of keep it the state it is, or you you know have some ideas in the works? Maybe make some modifications, more power, different cosmetics. Like, what are what's your big picture on this thing? Yeah, I think for the most part, I'm probably going to keep it as is. I really really like the look. Um, there was one I've kind of messed the idea with of potentially making the top a checkered top. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm having a hard time with commitment <laughs> with that. So I think if I did, I would do a wrap. So yeah. if I change my mind, I can take it off. But um, I haven't quite taken the plunge. I've just, yeah. you know, messed with the idea for a couple years. Well, I think it'd be kind of a fun idea. We'll see. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously you have a pretty unique car, but I guess what what other secrets does she hold? Oh, this one's really really fun because most people try to guess the year, mm -hmm. which I think I've had one person ever guess the year, which is pretty amazing because it's a little trickster. Yeah. Um, my mustache, my grill, that's all early. My badges, this is not what a 95 would look like. Okay. Um, my mirrors, these are actually, um, I think, well, I'm going to say they're Miata mirrors. Really? <laughs> yeah. Not at all factory. My, my dash, my cluster, mm -hmm. it's not what a 95 looks like. It's the earlier model. My taillights are completely different. Okay. So I've got quite a bit of things that I go, huh, is that earlier one? But the, the giveaways are my windows. 
Okay. Right, because an earlier one would have the sliding glass. Yeah. And I've got roll up. Um, also, I have fuel injection, which didn't come until later. Okay. Um, I've got a 95, so I have a single port uh, fuel injection. They became multi port in 96. Nice. And then um, there's something else I'm missing. There's a couple of things. Um, this one has a little bit, this is the wide body. This isn't standard. Um, but it makes yeah. it look so much nicer. Right? I just, I mean, I, I just love it. And I do love that it's got some modern technology, but I still get the cool old look. Yeah. So after driving something that's, you know, super unique, kind of eclectic, off the wall, like what kind of advice do you have to give someone who, you know, might want to get into the same type of car, might want to look into importing JDM stuff, you know, needs to get through the hassle of registering a JDM something. What kind of advice do you got for us? Well, um, I think if you've been teetering on the idea of getting one, just get one. You'll love it and you won't regret it. I agree. <laughs> First one. Um, second one, there is a little bit of a safety thing, right? So right. I'm very aware of my surroundings when I drive. I definitely look both ways. You know, oh, there's yeah. there's no airbags. There's no, yeah. <laughs> there's no crumple zones. I'm the crumple zone. So <laughs> just being mindful and being cautious and just remembering, you know, everything out there is bigger than you. And right. make sure they can see you. Yep. So that would probably be my um, advice as far as safety. Um, importing, I, I didn't actually go through the barrier of bringing it to the States. Right. So I don't have too much advice on that. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah. And oh, I can say you've made my day. <laughs> thank you. It was nice to share it. I, I thoroughly enjoy this car and I enjoy sharing it with people. I enjoy letting people sit in it, get the experience, get the bug. Yep. So, um, thank you for having me. It was fun. I'm so cold. Yeah, man.